when a and b are such that probability of a is 0.2 and probability of b is 0.5. A determines the value of probability of a or b when a and b are mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive, it means that probability a and b, it means uh, at the same time, it's zero. It can be illustrated uh, on uh, the Venn diagram. And it looks like this, A and B. Usually it looks like this. And for this problem, A and B, this region, probability is equal to zero. Hence, a probability A or B, we can use a, a formula directly. It is given in a data booklet probability A or B, it's probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B. And since probability of A and B is zero, so it becomes 0 0.2 plus 0 0.5 and it's 0 0.7. Or using a Venn diagram, it becomes Probability of A is uh, 0 0.2 and probability of B is uh, 0 0.5 and A or B is uh, within uh, circle A or within circle B or uh, intersection of A and B and we add regions. So A or B is this region plus this region and we can see that it's 0 0.2 plus 0 0.5. And the next. A and B are independent. Independent, it means that probability A and B is equal to probability A multiplied by probability of B. A formula is given in a data booklet. And again, we can use the formula. So it becomes A probability A or B is probability of A plus probability of B minus and probability of A and B it's, pro it's a product probability of A multiplied by probability of B and it becomes uh, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.5 it is equal to 0 0.7 minus 0. Uh, uh, 1, so it's 0 0.6. Or using a Venn diagram, it looks like this. And A or B, it's within circles. And uh, since it's independent, this region is uh, A and B, and it's equal probability A multiplied by probability uh, of B. And the next determine the range of possible values of probability a given b it's conditional probability formula the formula is given in a data booklet and probability of a given b is equal to probability of a and b divided by probability of b since probability of b is uh, constant it's uh, 0 0.5 and uh, probability cannot be negative, it's uh, in between 0 and 1, uh, since we can guess that uh, minimum uh, of uh, probability A given B, it's when probability of A and B is 0, and probability of B is 0 0.5, and it's when uh, it's uh, zero when uh, these events are mutually exclusive, so it's zero. So minimum possible value is zero. But what is the maximum possible value? Let's uh, consider event diagram. And uh, since we need the maximum possible value, since probability of B is constant, we need the maximum possible value of A and B and B and it means at the same time. So zero is when uh, A and B are mutually exclusive, so intersection is zero. 
and uh, we can deduce that uh, uh, since we need the maximum possible value of a and b we need the maximum possible region of intersection of a and b and since uh, b is 0 0.5 it's great and uh, probability of a is 0 0.2 probability of b is 0 0.5 so we can get that maximum possible intersection and hence uh, a and b it will be when region or circle a lies completely within circle b so b is 0 0.5 a is here 0 0.2 and hence intersection it's uh, the maximum possible value which is 0 0.2 so maximum of probability of the probability of a given b it's when uh, probability of b is constant 0 0.5 and probability of a and b maximum possible value is 0 0.2 And 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.5 is 0 0.4. Hence, a probability of A given B is greater or equal than 0 and less or equal than uh, 0 0.4. And for uh, something like this one, intersection is in between uh, 0 when they are mutually exclusive and uh, when it's completely within circle B, we will get uh, some intersection which is in between 0 and uh, 0 0.4. So it's a required range of uh, possible values of the probability of uh, A given B. And that's all for this question.